Hi, Robert Anthony here for Tuts Plus. Battery from Native Instruments is one of the best drum programming plugins for electronic music production, if not the best plugin. In the newest version of Battery, Battery 4, Native Instruments has included some great new internal routing capabilities that open up many great creative and production workflow possibilities. In this tutorial, I will explain the new internal routing features of Battery 4, including how to set up internal routing on individual sample cells, using the new buses feature, and how to send buses or individual sample cells outputs into your host DAW. So first, we need to configure Battery 4. When initiating an instance of Battery 4 in your host DAW, you'll have the option to choose from mono, stereo, 5.1, which is surround sound, and multi-output. For this demonstration, I will select multi-output and I'll choose 8 stereo and 8 mono. I'll change the cell matrix to something a little more manageable just for demonstration by going to the options drop down, cell matrix, and I'll choose 4x4. So, just a quick recap Battery is a sample based instrument that you load samples into individual sample cells, which are then routed through various effects, then to the various outputs of the plugin and on into your host DAW. Battery is typically used for drums, but it does support a host of file formats, which makes it great for sound effects and other types of samples. So let's have a look at individual sample cell routing. By default, all sample cells are routed to the master outputs in the plugin, which is then routed to the stereo output 1 and 2, which in turn is fed into the channel strip in your host DAW's mixer. The master effects section processes everything that passes through the master channel. I'll load some samples into the first two cells. As you can see, the samples are routed to the main outputs in the master section passing through the main effects section. You can also right click on a sample cell and see its output assignment at the bottom. Again, if we right click on the master channel, we can see that this is being routed to the stereo output one and two in the host DAW. So if we look here, the default signal flow is the individual sample cells are being routed to the master channel, passing through the master effects section, then finally routed to direct outputs one and two and on into your host. So you may think that the master effects section is plenty, but each sample cell actually has its own dedicated effects chain that will process the sample before it gets to the master channel and further processed by the master effects section. So let's have a look. If you select the effects tab here, you can see the dedicated effects section for the selected sample cell. So for example, I can turn on the compressor on sample cell one and independently turn on the limiter of sample cell two. These effects are applied before the signal hits the master channel. So now if we have a look, we can see that we can have a sample cell 
routed through its independent effects before being fed into the master channel and its effects. Now let's have a look at the new buses feature inside of Battery 4. If we go back to the master tab, we can now see that there are four buses that we can group cells for routing and effects processing. I'll load up two snare type samples to create a layered snare hit. and I want to process as a group. So what I'll do is I'll route them to a bus. If you right click on the sample cell again, you can select a bus from the output menu. I'm going to back out of here because what you can also do is simply select a sample cell that you want to route and drag them to the routing option that you want. You'll see all the available destinations be highlighted by a dotted outline, indicating that you can drag and drop. I'll drop the sample cells onto bus 1, and now they're being routed to bus 1 and being processed through the bus's effects. Now keep in mind, this is in addition to the individual sample cells effects and the master effects section if we're routing the bus to the master effects channel. I can now use the effects on bus 1 to say glue the samples together with a compressor, then route them into the master output. So we can see that the internal routing capabilities of Battery 4 are very useful for creating submixes and for creating effects processing chains. But as of right now, all of the sounds are being summed down to the stereo outputs 1 and 2 and being played on a single channel strip inside of the host DAW. If you want to have multiple outputs going into multiple channel strips in your host, you can easily select a direct output and tell Battery 4 to send that audio into an additional channel strip. If you right click on an individual sample cell in Battery 4, you will see a final output option at the bottom of the list, Direct Output. Direct Output will send the sample cell's audio into an additional output separate from all the others. You can now see that I have the first sample going to direct output 3 and 4. You can configure an auxiliary channel strip to receive the signal from the various direct outputs. Inside of Logic Pro 10, for example, you simply select the little plus icon and add an additional auxiliary channel strip. You can also select a direct output for the four buses as well. You can then, for example, have all four buses being sent into their own dedicated channel strip in your host DAW, independent of all the other buses. And if we look here finally, you can see that we can easily use all three routing configurations to get very complex signal chains out of one instance of Battery 4. With all the available routing options, both internally and externally into your host DAW, Battery 4 opens up a world of creative effects processing and workflow possibilities. I hope this video has helped you to gain a better understanding of the routing possibilities when using Native Instruments Battery 4. This is Robert Anthony for Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.